Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. My name is McCabe Marshall, and this is Word of the Week. Word of the Week is a short video I shoot every single Sunday for my readers and viewers, so thank you for tuning in today. At the end of this video, if you enjoy this message, I encourage you to share it with family, with friends, with loved ones, and with coworkers. And you can do that by copying the link to this video and pasting it to your email and sending it. And you can also paste it to Facebook, Twitter, and all your favorite social media sites. So make sure to share the good news at the end of this message. Also, I have a YouTube channel at youtube.com. And the channel's just my name, McCade Marshall. And you can subscribe for all my latest videos there. And to subscribe to Order of the Week, you can go to my website at the end of this message at mccademarshall.com. Fill out the form under the Word of the Week tab, and I'd be more than happy to email you these videos every single Sunday evening. So make sure to check that out at the end of this message. All right. Well, the Word of the Week for this week is Christ the Cornerstone. Everyone is looking for a better life. Anyone you meet is on a journey seeking something or someone to make life better. We all have goals, things we hope to accomplish, and places we want to see. Even though people have different interests and look to build their lives in their own way, everyone has a call from God to live for and to serve Him. We are all builders. We are all called to work on something and fulfill our purpose in life. As builders, it is so important to build the things in our life properly. How we approach life can determine what kind of life we are going to live. In the scriptures, Jesus says in Matthew chapter 21, verse 42, Didn't you ever read this in the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is wonderful to see. When Jesus says the builders rejected the stone, he was referencing himself. He was saying that although the Jewish leaders had rejected him, God was going to use him as the most important person in building God's kingdom. In masonry construction, the cornerstone is the first stone set in a building's foundation. It is the most important stone, as all other stones are to be set while building in reference to this most valuable stone. The cornerstone determines the position of the entire building structure. In the same way, Jesus is our cornerstone. He is the cornerstone of our lives. Everything we do should be in reference to Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 6, I am placing a cornerstone in Jerusalem, chosen for great honor, and anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced. Jesus is the cornerstone of God. He is the only begotten Son of God. Whoever trusts in him is set to have a better life and to go on to eternal life after this lifetime. When you place your faith in Jesus, you are believing in him and what he has said. When you go about your day, you should have your eyes on the cornerstone. The cornerstone is where we draw our strength from. The cornerstone is what helps us keep our heart's priorities set in order. The cornerstone is what helps us see things the way God sees them. The cornerstone is what ensures we are on the right path, following the will of God for our lives. Isaiah chapter 28 verse 16 says, Therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says, Look, I am placing a stone in Jerusalem, a firm and tested stone. It is a precious cornerstone that is safe to build on. Whoever believes never needs to be shaken. 
When you build your life on the principles and teachings of Jesus Christ, you are building your life on a bedrock of safety. When you honor Jesus, the angels of God honor you. You have supernatural, divine protection and favor when you build on this foundation stone. The truth is, Jesus is the center of all things. He holds everything together by his spirit and through his power. All of creation and every spiritual force that could ever stop you from filling your destiny must bow at the name of Jesus. Right now, I believe God is going before you by Christ's Spirit, making crooked places straight. He is driving out the forces of darkness so you can advance the kingdom of God in your neighborhood. He is lifting dark clouds so people can see the light of his glory and goodness. Colossians chapter 1 verse 17 tells us, Jesus is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Today, if your life feels like it is falling apart, look to Jesus. Jesus is the cornerstone of creation. He holds all things together. There is not one part of your life that is beyond the control of Jesus. Jesus is with you when you go to work. He is with you in your car while you are sitting in traffic. He is with you when you are raising your children. He is with you when you are asleep and when you wake up. There is never a time Jesus is not with you. He is the only way to salvation and the founder of our Christian faith. Right now, Jesus is in heaven, seated at the right hand of God the Father, making prayers and entreaties for us. He is asking the Lord to protect us, to lead us, to guide us, and to prosper us. It is at this seat of infinite power that we can go and ask for anything we need. In this world, we are going to have problems. In order to work through them, we are going to need help. God has given us all the tools we need to not just survive, but to thrive. Whether it is a new relationship, a new job, or a breakthrough in your health, God will give you whatever it is you need in order to overcome. If you will build upon and stand on God's word, you are not going to be moved by the sorrows of this world. Instead, you'll be immovable. You have the cornerstone of Christ's Spirit seated on the throne of your heart. You know nothing can stop you because you have the creator of the entire universe living inside of you. Know today that as long as you have Jesus Christ as the cornerstone of your life, nothing can keep you from fulfilling your purpose and living out the will of God. Well, I want to pray over you really quick that you get this message deep into your spirit about Christ, the cornerstone. And as you think about uh, masonry and, and builders and, and, and a building being constructed with huge stones, and you think of the cornerstone and how everything is built in reference to this cornerstone, think about your faith and think about as you're uh, making your dreams and your goals for life. Think about how it all needs to be done in reference to Jesus Christ. And, and Jesus tells us this because he wants us to have an abundant life, an overcoming life. The world will give you all sorts of alternatives, but the, the true source of life in, in eternity and also in this lifetime is only through Jesus Christ. So wherever you are, I just want to pray over you really quick um, over Christ the Cornerstone. So wherever you are, if you want to bow your head and close your eyes and just listen along as I pray. Father God, I thank you so much for everyone listening and watching right now. I just pray, Father, that you would speak to each and every one of our hearts about you, Jesus, being the cornerstone. 
And the, it's like the scriptures say, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. It's become the most important stone. So as we build our lives centered around your word, God, help us to remember that the stone of Jesus Christ is, is, is precious and that it's the most valuable thing we have. The most valuable thing we have in this world is faith. We can't take our money with us. We can't take material things with us. We can't even take our loved ones with us. But we can take Jesus. You're here in this life and in the life to come. We have our faith. The cornerstone is the most important aspect of our life. So as we build our lives, may we do everything in reference to your word so that when the storms of life come, we're not tossed to and fro um, like a boat in, a, in, a, in an ocean with high waves, but we are grounded. We're built on the rock, the truth of God. So I pray for breakthrough in people's lives. I pray for signs, for miracles, for wonders to break forth in people's lives, that they would see healing where they're praying for healing, that they'd see financial breakthroughs where they haven't seen a breakthrough. I pray for loved ones to turn around and come to Jesus Christ and know him as their Lord and Savior. So I just pray a miracle over everyone listening and watching right now in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, well, I want to tell you the first step to experiencing more of God's goodness and having more of the abundant blessings that come by having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ is by first receiving the free gift of salvation that comes from knowing God's only Son, Jesus. If you've never received Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, right now is a great time to invite Jesus to come into your heart and be Lord of your life. Jesus came so that he could wash away your sins, your mistakes, your failures, and give you a fresh, clean slate with God, and to have newness of life, and to one day spend eternity with God in heaven. So if you've never received this free gift of salvation, would you just pray this prayer with me? Wherever you are, if you want to bow your head, close your eyes, and just repeat after me this prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to die on the cross for my sins. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer, the scripture says that you've asked Jesus into your heart and that he will come in and that you are spiritually born again. You have a new life in Christ. And that means that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life in heaven and that you are destined to spend eternity with God one day. So welcome to the family of God. And the next step in your faith journey is to get involved in a good Bible-based church and Christian community and let people encourage you along in your faith. And be water baptized as a public profession of your faith that you're dying to the old self, the old way of life, and you're being raised to new life through Christ and His Spirit. So make sure to be water baptized if you've never been water baptized before. And read your Bible every day. The Bible is the Word of God. It's the truth that we can stand on. It's what feeds our faith. It's what's always there in good times and bad. We always have the Scripture. So every day we should be filling our minds and our hearts with Scripture and spending time with God. And pray. Talk to God like you would your very best friend. Prayer is simply you communicating to God. When you talk to God, tell him what's on your heart. The scriptures say to cast your cares upon God because he cares about you. And I promise God will respond. Sometimes it's immediate and sometimes it takes time. But God does answer our prayers. And so pray and talk to God because he's your good, good father in heaven. And also make sure to tell someone that you gave your life to Christ, a pastor, maybe a friend or a coworker, and let them encourage you along in your faith, someone that you know is a Christian. And also I have a website with a lot of great resources to help you along in your faith. And my website is just my name, McCadeMarshall.com. And on McCadeMarshall.com, you can watch other Word of the Week videos just like this one. If you'll click on the Word of the Week tab, you can watch, scroll through these different videos and watch different messages and different sermons. You can share them. You can watch them with a friend. And um, also, on my website, I have newsletters that I mail out every three months to my subscribers. So if you're not subscribed to my mailing list, click on the Newsletters tab, fill out the form there. I'd be more than happy to mail you a newsletter 
every three months. Just, it's a word of inspiration that I promise will encourage you, and it's always there. So make sure to join my mailing list if you're not on my newsletter list yet. And also, I've written three books that you can order on my website. And the latest book I wrote is called Finding Your Keys. And Finding Your Keys has 12 different keys or spiritual truths that you can apply to your own life to see the supernatural power and authority of God go to work in your life. So if you don't have Finding Your Keys, you can order that on mccabemarshall.com. I'll be more than happy to sign the book and ship it to you. And also, the second book I wrote is called Breathe. And Breathe is about pursuing your God-given dreams. I believe in each and every one of us, there's seeds or dreams that God has placed in our hearts that He wants to breathe onto and breathe new life. So, Breathe is all about God breathing new life into your dreams. So, if you don't have Breathe, you can order that as well. And the first book I wrote is called Tasting the Goodness of God. And Tasting the Goodness of God is a 31-day daily devotional I wrote to help you learn how to spend time with God each and every day. There's one devotional for every day of the month. So make sure to check out Finding Your Keys, Breathe, and Tasting the Goodness of God on your website. I promise you they'll bless you and help you go deeper in your faith. All right, well, in closing, I just want to declare a special blessing over you. I declare you are building your life on Christ the Cornerstone. As you keep Jesus at the center of all you do, he is causing you to rise higher and overcome anything the enemy brings your way. Your faith is immovable, and the potential you have to go further is boundless as you build your life on the rock of God's Word. There is nothing and no one that can stop you from fulfilling your purpose and becoming who God created you to be. With His help, there is nothing you cannot achieve in Jesus' name. Well, I love you, and I'm praying for you. God bless you.